In this video, I'll show you how to animate a wiggle expression. Let's begin by adding a wiggle expression to a property like position. For this, we select the layer, we press P on the keyboard, then we hold down the Alt key and left click on the stopwatch next to position. Then inside of this field, we add wiggle and it's automatically going to give us the option. We can just double click on that. So we have wiggle, open and close parentheses. Now, if we just type the values inside of the parentheses, we'll get a regular wiggle expression. But what we're going to do instead is open effects and presets window. By the way, ignore the error. It's there because we didn't finish the wiggle expression properly. Now let's search for slider control and we add it to the layer twice. And then in effect controls, we can even rename the slider controls into frequency and amplitude to know which slider does what. Then we go back to the wiggle expression, we click inside of the parentheses, then we drag this pick whip icon onto the first slider value, we let go, then we add a comma, we drag the pick whip to the second slider value. Then we click away and now we have a fully working expression. So if we increase these values, we'll get whatever the regular wiggle expression would do. But since we did it this way, we can now animate it. So if we move the playhead to any point, then we create a keyframe for say amplitude slider control. We set the value to zero, then we go forward, then we increase the value, then go forward again and set the value back to zero. Now, if we play this back, nothing is going to happen until we reach this keyframe. Then we'll get this shake effect and it'll come back to a standstill. So that's how we can use the wiggle expression for animations.